Welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's coming towards you guys this week, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours, leave, behind, leave everything else behind. Okay, all right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what your week looks like, guys. I do see like so for some of you guys, you're going to have to make a massive decision this week. There's, a, there's an opportunity that's coming in and you're going to have to make a decision. But I see where you guys kind of, you're kind of going to be at crossroads about making that decision. Okay. We have prioritized reflection. So for a lot of you guys, this is about prioritizing self. See that? This is about you guys, see, taking a look in the mirror, prioritizing self, looking like, what is it that, what is it that you don't like about self? I feel like for a lot of you guys, your spirit guides are wanting you to prioritize yourself. I feel like that's, that's, it's more productive. I'm getting like productive, like a productive energy, like in prioritizing yourself. That's a part of you feeling like you've been productive. That's a part of you being productive, um, becoming nobody for some of you guys that there's a lonesome feeling here. There's a lonesome feeling here. And I feel like that's why your spirit guides are telling you to prioritize yourself. If you want to change something about yourself, your spirit guides are telling you, then you need to prioritize self. Prioritize what it is. Prioritize making something better. So you, so it'll actually make you happier. It'll actually, it'll bring you out of a slump. There's something about kind of feeling some type of way about something when it comes to yourself. And the only way that that's going to change, the only way that you can bring change to that is by prioritizing, revamping, changing, like adjusting. Like you have to, if you, there's something about your life that you don't like, you have to be, you have to work to bring change to that situation. If there's something about yourself, the appearance, when you take a look in the mirror that you don't like, what actions are you taking to change that? I feel like that's that's anything can change. Anything is possible, but it's like you have to bring forth the effort. You have to bring forth some type of effort. What effort are you taking? What effort are you bringing forth to bring that change? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, what I'm getting in this is like you are, you feel some type of way. There's a feeling some type of way about something about, about yourself and about your life. And the only way that you're going to be able to change that is by prioritizing that. Yeah. Be open to receiving. It's saying be open for you guys to be open to receiving. Be open to receiving blessings. I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of like kind of, you could be, find yourself complaining. You could find yourself complaining that nobody's there for you or, pro, or finding yourself complaining about Again, where you are right now, present moment in life. And I feel like this is like saying like, okay, but you have to be open because there's gifts here. There is, I feel like for some of you guys, there's people right in front of you that actually do care, that actually do want to provide, do want to give, but it's for you guys to be open to receive. I feel like this week, there is something coming through for you guys. But in the pre-shuffle, I did get that Ace of Pentacles that fell out and that Two of Swords. So for a lot of you guys, there's there's new opportunities that's coming in for you guys this week. There is new opportunities, but there's also a defensive energy. There's also an on guard energy. There's also an indecision here, meaning like, are you open to receive the blessings that's coming in? Are the opportunities that's coming in for you guys this week? What do you want? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, when you take a look in the mirror or when you wake up in the morning, you want something very, very specific. There's something here that you want. Some of you guys, you worry. 
you worry about becoming nobody, like never accomplishing the things that you want. But how are you prioritizing the things that you want? I feel like that's a big, big energy. Like, how are you prioritizing it? Because for some of you guys, you've worked so hard at something. There's an energy here of like working so hard at something. And it's like all of a sudden, it's like taking a step back. And it's, it's there's a feeling of why? Like, or there's a feeling of becoming nobody. Like becoming, like feeling like you've done all this for nothing. That's for a very small group of you guys. Like really and truly like kind of, like feeling like you've done something all for nothing. And there's an energy here of like sitting with yourself and re, re, reorganizing, re, reorganizing your thoughts, prioritizing your thoughts, prioritizing the changes that you want to make in your life, prioritizing yourself and prioritizing your life. Because for a lot of you guys, you, this day to day, this day to day, this, I'm getting like what you're doing every single day. If it's not something that really and truly fulfills you, then that's not a part of it's not a part of you prioritizing what you want or prioritizing yourself or prioritizing your own reflection. Because what you see when you wait when you look in the mirror is not what it's not what you feel inside. What you see when you take a look in the mirror is not what you visualize for yourself. That's what this is. You know, I've said all this. You know, it takes, it takes, it sometimes it takes, takes me a moment to really, <laughs> I said all of this to say that because I feel like for a lot of you guys, what, when you, when you take a look in the mirror, what you see, look at that. You see that reflection? When you take a look in the mirror, what you see is not what you truly feel. It's not what you truly feel for yourself or where you should be. See that there's, there's a, there's a neglect there is a neglect, <laughs> like there's a neglect in your soul. Like, I feel like for you guys, there's a neglect here in your soul. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is like that, that mundane day-to-day -day shit. Like, I feel like this is just like, you know how sometimes you'll see those housewives or something on TV or whatever, and they do the same old, same old, they, they there for everybody. And they're caring, they're nurturing, they're loving, they're responsible. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're doing it for everybody, but they neglect themselves. I feel like there's a group of you guys where you're feeling that. You're feeling that. Like you're feeling like you've neglected yourself. I feel like there's a big group of you guys, actually. And I feel like there's a big group of you guys that are feeling that energy. That's a strong energy. That's a strong, strong energy. But you have to be open to receive. We're going to see what that's about. We also have what you don't see is some murky waters. We do have some murky waters here. What um, You're entering into some murky waters. And normally when that card comes out, this is about your judgment, your beliefs. This is about skating along a border. <laughs> like some of you guys may be truly like, Entering into some murky waters, un unknown territory, like even dabbling, because there's also an energy here of kind of dabbling, dabbling in something that it's not also oh becoming. I don't know why I just heard it, not so oh becoming of a lady. <laughs> I don't know why that just came through, but there's some murky waters here that some of you guys are entering into. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me, show me what's coming in for my Virgos this week. Show me what's coming in for my Virgos this week. Believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have a new opportunity that's going to come in this week. And it's going to be... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Surprising. That's the word I was looking for. It's going to be surprising. Show me. Show me what's coming in. Luck is on your side. Good energy. Good energy. For some of you guys, you may have some type of extra, a little extra something. Um, I don't know if I'd say a little extra something from Santa. <laughs> but for some of you guys, 
you there may be like a little something extra coming in for you guys this week in terms of like money yeah communication is key look at that a lot of communication this week a lot of communication that's coming through for you guys this week and meditate and contemplate a lot of thinking a lot of thinking for you guys this week like there's a lot of like I feel like there's opportunities, opportunities abound. There's a lot of opportunities that you guys are, that's you, that, that that's coming towards you guys. But it's going to be one of those things where it's, 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 I feel like for some of you guys, it's, when I say you're entering, I feel like that entering into murky waters is really and truly like unknown territory. Not only that, but it's about you want something, you want something, there's a desire there's something inside of you guys that's kind of burning. Like that's kind of, there's an itch that just hasn't been scratched. Like, and I feel like this week, like you guys are going to be like, do you stay? Do you stay unsatisfied? Or do you just throw caution to the wind and go towards what satisfies you? I feel like that's the overall energy for you guys this week with all honesty. What I'm getting here in this in this because there's a feeling here. There's a feeling here of again when you take a look in the mirror, what you see is not what you truly see for yourself. This is like taking a look in the mirror and be like that's that's how I look. That's not how I feel. Taking a look in the mirror and just, you know, you see like sometimes I do that. I'll take a look in the mirror and I'll, I'll send that to my brothers and I'll be like, y'all, look, I'm aging. <laughs> and my brothers, they work, they I work on a nerve. <laughs> and I'll send videos. I'll, um, I'll do this. I'll be like this. And I'll start sending videos to them. And I'll be like, y'all, look. <laughs> and like, if you don't get out of my face. <laughs> and I do, of course, I see the lies. They, I tell them, I said, I am aging. It's like, yeah, it's a part of life, but you're aging. And then my, my, my little brother. He's the sweetest thing ever. He's like, you're aging with grace. I was like, yeah, whatever. Because, <laughs> you know, you know, we see things differently for our own self. Like, really and truly, we see things differently for our own self. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that is, I'm saying all that to say that. I feel like when you take a look in the mirror, you see things differently, even from your own self. Because you, you're, you're living this life, you're doing these things, and you take a look in the mirror, you'll be like, this is my life. This is what I'm doing. Is this all that I'm about? Is this all that I've accomplished? Like, I feel like that's kind of the energy. And I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, even though you have accolades, you have milestones you've reached, there's accomplishments, still there's a longing for something more. I feel like still there's a longing for something more. And for some of you guys, you feel like you, you're becoming, when I, I keep saying this, this, this card says becoming nobody, but that's not what I really truly feel because you are somebody. It's just to you, you're not who you want to be or you're not living the life that you want to live. That's what I'm truly getting. Like, that's what I'm really and truly getting. Like, it's like, this can't be my life. This can't be all I'm about. This can't be all I'm going to accomplish. That's what I'm getting. Like, that's what I'm getting. That's what I feel like for a lot of you guys. I feel like this week and I feel, you know, the energies are, the energies are heavy right now. The energies are heavy right now. Give me a sec. The energies are heavy right now. So I feel like a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of a lot of you like really and truly meditating on your thoughts, on your life. There's a meditation, there's a reevaluation, there's an evaluation itself. Like, and it's like, where am I going? I feel like for a lot of you guys this week, that's a big thing. And for some of you guys, yes, there may be an opportunity that comes in that actually brings forth those thoughts, that actually bring forth those emotions and those feelings. Because there's something here that's bringing it to the surface. There's something here that's bringing it to the surface. And some of you guys, you're entering into murky waters. Why? Because there's something about, do I stay in this posture of unsatis unsatisfaction? Or do I go towards what really and truly scratches that itch? You know, that's what I'm really and truly getting in that energy for you guys. I do see a lot of communication. I do see you guys talking a lot this week. I do see like, again, new opportunities coming in for you guys. But also like, luck is on your side. 
Your spirit guides are telling you guys to believe in the impossible. Your spirit guides are definitely, definitely telling you guys for you guys to believe in the impossible. Because I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have to make a, you know, this energy. I feel like this, this energy right here is consistent. I feel like it's been consistent for my Virgos. I really and truly feel like it's been consistent for my Virgos. Whereas you, there's a restless energy. There's a restless energy. Um, I feel like there's a there's a constant wanting something different, wanting something to change. Because I feel like a lot of you guys, you lose your way in caring and taking care, like in truly like taking care of other people, in living life, in responsibilities in the day to day, the mundane. That mundane is 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 almost like torture. To some of you guys that everyday day-to-day -day is kind of like just kind of like torture to some of you guys for some of you guys there's a feeling here of kind of feeling like blah because all your life is about is taking care of other people but there's something that you want to do there's something that you want for yourself there's something that you want to do and there's something that you want for yourself some of you guys you may not know how to pursue that some of you guys you really and truly may not know how to pursue that now let's see. Ooh, okay. Cracker. <laughs> Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. So you got some good fortune coming through. You guys got some good fortune coming through. See that? You got some good fortune coming through, you guys, for you this week. And then we have Owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And I feel like right now, present moment, I feel like that's why the energy is so heavy right now, present moment, because I feel a heavy energy. And why do I feel a heavy energy? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. With all honesty, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I feel like what it is, is that for a lot of you guys, there is something about being unfulfilled, unsatisfied. But there's also something about if that's how you feel, what are you going to do to change it? Like, that's what I really and truly feel. Like, I feel like if that's how you feel, this is like, okay, well, what are you going to do to change that? What changes are you going to make? Because I feel like for some of you guys, yes, there is an opportunity here. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you, you, there's, there's a lack of movement because it's like, you're kind of being, there's kind of like giving me like a crossroads about what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because as always, Virgos don't like to, like you, it's like, you don't want to really and <clears throat> truly shake things up. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like not really and truly want to shake things up, but also it's about taking that leap of faith. It's like, that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. But I do see there's some positive energy here. And I do see that there's messages coming through for you guys. I do see there's messages coming through for you guys. And I do see some positive energy here, but you, and I feel like it's coming to, you know what? I feel like it's all, this is all playing out the way it's playing out is because it's like, your, your spirit guides and your angels, they're like, okay, but I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired of you complaining about this, you saying this and that, what are you going to do to change it? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, this has been a long time coming and you keep saying that you want something to change. You keep feeling some type of way. You keep going in circles. Some of you guys, you're constantly going in circles and your spirit guides and your angels are like, okay, like, come on, come on. You want, <laughs> it's like, you want to change, you want changes, then let's go. Let's do this. That's a big energy. So we have Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Okay. So you guys have been going through some things. There's been, you, life has been lifing. <laughs> like life has been lifing, but your spirit guides are saying for you to be prepared and renewed because there's going to be changes. I feel like I'm telling you, like something good's coming in. Something, something, something's good. Something good is coming in after a long time of like life, lifing, <laughs> like life, life just doing what it do. We have abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. Look at that. Look at that. That's just saying, that's just confirmation again. That luck is on your side. You see that? Luck is on your side. Really and truly. It says lucky times are ahead of you. 
along with good news, success, and prosperity. So for some of you guys, you have some good news coming in. For some of you guys, you have a little, a little extra something, something coming through for you guys this week. And I feel like if it's not this week, with all honesty, what I'm getting is this month. If it's not, if it's not this week, I'm getting like this month. The month of November, you got some good stuff coming through for you guys. Lucky times. And then we have thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So I feel like for some of you guys, yes, this is, I feel like, I, feel, I don't know why, I feel like you've already weathered this. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a, there's a weathering and challenges, the challenges ahead. I feel like by you weathering challenges that you've been faced with, I feel like that's why the, there's, there's a shift here. There is a shift that's happening for you guys. There's a shift that's happening right now, present moment. This is like behind the scenes, the universe. It's like there's things that's being worked in your favor. I feel like there's things that's being worked in your favor. For some of you guys, there may be like a glimmer. Like I'm getting almost like a glimmer this week. Like a glimmer of good news, a glimmer of, of hope, a glimmer of a possibility. Like you may hear something this week and it's like, Somebody may be like, oh, you're being considered for something. Or somebody may be whisper something to you like you're going to be getting something or something of that sort. And it's like, okay, that gives you a glimmer, a glimmer of hope, a glimmer of a possibility. And then we have goals. Progress, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So this is that energy, prioritizing what you, that reflection in the mirror. You see, it says progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, your personal goals, I feel like there is this when you when you take a look in the mirror and I'm not saying it's on the physical, I'm not saying it's on the outside. I'm really and truly not getting like the outside appearance. For some of you guys it may truly be the outside appearance, but I'm getting your soul. I'm getting like deep. I'm getting like deep in there. Like I feel like for a lot of you guys what like when you take a look in the mirror you know, and I read something a long time ago, I think it was about Halle Berry or some one of these actresses and the most beautiful person. But when they took a look in the mirror, they didn't see that beauty. For someone here, that's what I'm kind of getting in that energy as well. I remember this article I read and it was like the most beautiful person. When they took a look in the mirror, they didn't see that beauty. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's kind of that's kind of the energy as well. And it's almost like, this is almost like taking a look in the mirror. This is almost like a task. Like that's what I'm kind of getting in this energy. Like your spirit guide is kind of giving you a task. Taking a look in the mirror and speaking to your beauty. Speaking to yourself. Making your own self a believer that you are who you, who you are. Like really and truly making your own self believe that whether you're my divine feminine or my divine masculine, I feel like this is like you taking a look in the mirror and you are beautiful, you are strong, you are handsome, you are worthy, you are loved. Like, you know, you will overcome any obstacles that come your way. You are, you're deserving. You're deserving. And it's it's almost like, it's almost like a task here get, being given to you guys to take a look in the mirror and say, I am, I am worthy. I am deserving. I am, I am worthy of love. I'm worthy of being abundant. I am worthy of the respect. Like, you know, you are worthy of everything. I'm worthy to have my own home. I'm worthy to not stress. You are worthy of it all. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is training yourself by taking a look in the mirror and saying, I am worthy. You are worthy of everything. And I feel like that's the thing, you know, Sometimes I tell you guys that. Sometimes I say all this to say this. <laughs> and I feel like for, for this is kind of what's happening this morning. It's like I'm saying all of this to say that. Because for someone here, it's like you need to be reminded of who you are. Because someone here, you are feeling like you're becoming nobody or life. Like this can't be my life. This can't be my end all be all. But this is not. This is not your end all be all, but your spirit guides are also saying you have to be open to receive because if you are not in a positive head space, man, you're manifesting all that bullshit. Like if you're not in a positive, if you don't think positive, if you don't think that you're worthy, who else going to think you're worthy? Like, I mean, 
Like if you don't believe in your own self, how do you expect other people to believe in you? If you don't love your own self, how do you expect somebody else to love you? Like really and truly. <laughs> I say all that to say that. <laughs> we have chariot. Charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. Stay strong and focused. Look at that. Charge ahead with confidence. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's what's going on for you guys this week. And I feel like that's the message from spirit this week for you guys to charge ahead with confidence. And this is the thing. If you don't love yourself, if you don't respect yourself, if you don't feel worthy, how do you expect someone else to, to, to reciprocate that? How do you expect someone else to feel that way or to, because I feel like for some of you guys, this murky waters that you're, that I about to say that your ass is walking into. <laughs> for some of you guys, this murky waters that you're walking into is dealing with your own self, <laughs> dealing with your emotions. Some of you guys may find yourself emotional this week. And those murky waters that you guys are walking into is you dealing with your own emotions, dealing with your own self. Some of you guys may say that to me. You may be like, Tanya, I, 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 I'm tired of dealing with my own self. I'm tired of dealing with that God because that God crazy. <laughs> Give me a sec. Whether you're my divine feminine or my divine masculine. Give me a sec. I have lemon in there. So that's the lemon seed got in my mouth. Yeah, but I see where you guys, that's the murky waters that you're walking into. It's dealing with your own self, dealing with those emotions. Because those emotions, those emotions are going to be all over the place this week. I feel like there's like there's, there's, there's an energy shift that's happening here. And really and truly with everything that's happening within our solar system, it, this, it all makes sense. It really and truly all makes sense for you guys to truly feel some type of way. Transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. So we have misuse of the power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. So there's this talks about the alchemists. There is transformation that is really and truly happening, um, but it's, it's it's someone here, <laughs> someone here, whether it's you or someone else, there's an energy here of someone, I don't want to say misusing, there's a misuse for someone as well, but there's an energy here of like someone using their power of persuasion, using their 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 sexual magic. Their, their, it's like there's an energy here of someone here using their magic to, to get what they want. For someone here, there's a positive in it. And for someone here, there's a negative in it. For someone here, there's a positive in it. And for someone here, there is a negative in it. And it talks about motives and goals. So it's like using your using your gifts for positive versus using your gifts for negatives. I feel like it's about standing in your standing in your in your beliefs. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's there's an energy here of like truly, truly like your for manifestations and all of that. It's about you guys standing in your beliefs. I feel like for some of you guys this week, because I keep getting that energy from the time I started this reading. For some of you guys, what I'm getting is like this week you're going to have to make decisions. There's a decision that you're going to have to make. And what's happening is you're going to be skating along a line. There's a borderline. I say that from the beginning of the reading where there's a line here that you, you have to decide if you're going to cross that line, yay or nay. Someone here, like you're going to have to decide, are you going to be crossing a line here? Because there is a line that's being, there's a line in the sand and it's like, are you crossing that line? For some of you guys, it's like crossing that line changes, crossing that line changes changes you like there's a line here in the sand and crossing that line changes you and i'm saying that and i'm saying that and i'm saying that because i'm it's like i'm hearing it and i'm seeing it and i'm feeling it so it's like i want you guys to hear and see and feel it without me even saying it because somebody here is going to be crossing a line that changes your beliefs and once you cross that line it changes shit. Once you cross that line, it changes shit. And then we have healer. We have passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Ability to help transform pain into healing. So for a lot of you guys, this is about you sharing your story. Like, you know, this is like 
when you give your testimony. For some of you guys, you have a testimony that is going to help someone. Some of you guys, you may be faced with that this week. You may be faced with someone in their darkest moments, in their, in their, in their time of need. You may be faced with someone here where your knowledge, your knowledge will actually help to heal this person, actually help someone here make a better decision, actually help someone make a decision, actually help someone make better choices for their life. I feel like this is about knowledge is power. And I feel like for some of you guys, this is your knowledge. There's knowledge here that is going to heal someone, that's going to help someone overcome something. There's a group of you guys where there is something about your knowledge and it's knowledge through gains. It's knowledge through, through life. Like, you know, I told you guys, life be lifing. And it's knowledge through life that's going to help someone else. You have learned a lesson. You have had an experience and you're recognizing that reflection. There's a reflection here. There's a reflection here. And you're recognizing it. You're seeing it. And you can share your story. You can give your testimony to someone that's going to help this person. That's going to help this person. And when this person, when this happens, you're going to know exactly, exactly who. Now, some of you guys... It also says the shadow side of it is taking advantage of those who need help, failing to care for oneself. And for some of you guys, you may find that too. Wow. You may find that too, whereas you, it's like, don't overextend yourself is what I'm getting in that energy. It's like your spirit guides are warning you of not overextending yourself because for some of you guys, you may be trying to help someone else, but putting your own self in danger putting your own life or your livelihood in danger. There's a warning of that as well. Like it's okay to help, but don't help to the point that you're actually putting your own self in danger. Like, like don't help to that, to that. And don't misuse your power, guys. Don't misuse your power and your knowledge because I feel like, you know, I'm telling you, you know, we're skating that line. Some of you guys, you're going to be definitely, definitely skating that line. So we have companion. It says loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're embodying that energy. This is like talking about like kind of being a going after what you want. Being a companion to someone here, offering loyalty, offering tenacity, offering unselfishness. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a helping, like you're going to be helping someone this week. I feel like you're being called for a lot of you guys to help someone this week. But I also get, I keep getting this energy. I keep getting this energy because there's, there's a flip side to all of this. There's a flip side to all of this energy. And you're going to have to decide, am I, I going to, you know, how you have the little people on your shoulder? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's kind of the energy. Like, you know how you have them little people on your shoulder? Are you going to listen to your to the good little angel? Or are you going to listen to the little, the little naughty little angel? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's kind of the energy really and truly like there's kind of the energy. Like, <laughs> And for some of you guys, you know what I also got? You see yourself as a like the good Samaritan. You see yourself as a good person. But, for, but there's also a little voice. There's also a little voice there. And I feel like for some of you guys, that little voice is gonna be is gonna, it's gonna be voicing. I feel like I feel like for some of you guys this week, that little voice is gonna be voicing. <laughs> am I gonna be good or am I gonna be bad? <laughs> like, like, yeah. I keep getting that energy since since this reading started. Like, some of you guys, you're gonna have to be like, am I gonna be, am I gonna be good or am I gonna be bad? That's an energy. <laughs> then we have Exorcist. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. See? See? <laughs> See, those are destructive impulses. I'm telling you, I keep feeling it. I keep feeling it for you guys. And then it says, fear of facing your own demons. So some of you guys, there's something here that's that's coming through. There's like a temptation that's coming through for you guys this week. There's like a temptation that's coming through for you guys this week. And it's like, it's like, what are those destructive impulses? What is it that... I feel like this is like, you know, you sit down and you know how you tell a child, put your hands between your legs and keep them there. And this is like you're walking through something and are you telling them to keep their hands to their sides? Don't touch. You know how in the school lines, because I remember my baby girls, 
Then the school lines, you don't touch nobody. You keep your hands and your feet straight forward to your own self. And I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy of like, don't touch. Like some of you guys, you may find yourself wanting to touch something. <laughs> like some of you guys, there's a temptation here. And it's like, don't touch that. It's just, there's, a, there's, a, there's a feeling here. There's an energy here of if you touch it, you might break it. If you touch it, you might break it. And I say that to you guys because, and I keep saying it to you guys without saying, oh, everything. Because I'm like, okay, if you touch it, you might break it. And even when I say that, if you touch it, you might break your own heart. If you touch it, you might break a foundation that's being built up. If you touch it, you might break that spiritual, like, you know, you've been on a spiritual path. You've been on a path here. And all of that work that you've done would be for nothing. There's an energy here of if you touch it, it might break. It might break you. Yeah. I do see some romantic charm here. I do see um, you guys charging ahead. But you know what? With all honesty, I joke and I clon. But this is about you guys charging ahead the right way. <clears throat> I'm saying all that to say that charging ahead the right way there is going to be temptations there's always temptations there's always temptations we every day we every day we decide whether we're going to do the right thing or the wrong thing and I feel like yes I feel like this week a, a lot of you guys you're going to have to decide am I going to do the wrong thing or the right thing we are we're faced with that shit every day of the week we are we're faced with that give me a sec but I'm going to tell you this week might it might come on a little stronger. <laughs> there might there might be some temptation that comes on a tad bit stronger this week. Yeah, show me, <laughs> show me what's coming towards my Virgos this week, spirit. Show me what's coming through for my Virgos this week. Ten of Wands. Okay. You're making some good decisions. Making some good decisions. Mm, stalking. There's some investigations. Some of you guys are investigating something this week. What is it? What is these investigations, Spirit? Four of Wands. Three of Wands. Hmm. This talks about like a family dynamic. This talks about a relationship. This talks about an event. Some of you guys could be looking up some type of event. Some of you guys could be investigating certain things surrounding your family dynamic itself. Um, this also talks about waiting for your ships to come in. I see the withdrawn. I see the good fortune here. And I also see the sun. I feel like for some of you guys... You're walking away from something this week. I feel like for some of you guys, you're walking away from something this week. What is this? That's a strong energy. Because the Three of Wands talks about waiting for your ships to come in. The Hermit talks about you kind of withdrawing your energy, taking a step back. Trying to see, it's like seeking guidance, seeking clarity. It's like for someone here, like for somebody here, you have some, you've been waiting on something to come in. To free yourself from something that's been burdensome. And it's coming in for you. For someone here, you may have been on the waiting list for like housing or something. That's coming through for you as well. Yeah, that's coming through for you as well. What is this spirit? Somebody here could be actually going to a wedding this week. The lovers, choice between two. Someone here is walking away from, yeah, the high priestess. Someone here is walking away from an affair. Someone here is walking away from an affair this week. What's coming through for my Virgos this week? Ace of Cups. New love, new emotions, ace of wands. I'm telling you, 
I've already saw the Ace of Pentacles. I saw the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. You guys have opportunities coming through this weekend. It's about you guys choosing wisely. It's about you guys choosing wisely. Yeah, what's coming through? You're going to be faced, Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in hot. Somebody's coming in hot. Somebody that... Mm. Somebody's tired of doing wrong. Somebody's tired of doing wrong. Somebody's tired of... You know how, like... The older, the older ladies used to say that, like some, this is like somebody, and I'm going to say this and I'm saying this very, very lightly, very lightly, take it grain of salt because it's just humor because it's just how I, that's, that's not just how I talk. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of silly, but this is like somebody tired of being a hoe. Like, that's what I'm kind of getting in this energy. Like with all honesty, it's like somebody is tired of being, whether they're, whether they're masculine or feminine, it's like somebody's tired of being a hoe and like. Yeah, like that's what I'm getting. And like now someone here, and some of you guys may be like, I don't want, I don't want them. I get that, I get that. But somebody, but that's somebody's coming in and somebody's running, chasing. Somebody is chasing. Who is this Knight of Swords? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Four of Swords. The Tower, unexpected Scorpio energy. Like somebody here, like somebody wants to heal this. Somebody wants to heal this. And why do they? Why are they coming towards my Virgos? Ten of Cups. Because they see happiness with you. Because they see happiness with you. Who is this new love that's coming through? Are these new emotions? Ooh, the devil. Capricorn. Told you guys. I'm telling you. There's something tempting coming through. Three of Pentacles. There's some, there's something that's, that there's something, I'm telling you, there's a temptation that's coming through this week and y'all gonna be like, mm-mm. <laughs> actually, 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 I'm not getting a mm-mm, I'm getting a, oh man. <laughs> I'm not getting, I'm not getting a uh-uh, I'm getting a oh man, because you have to deal with it. Because you're gonna have to deal with it because there's like destructive, because I keep looking at this destructive impulses in there for some of you guys there is some type of temptation that's coming through this week and it's going to stir up some emotions it's going to see that's in murky waters not sure that you want it again two of swords you've been trying to protect yourself from whatever this is you've been trying to guard yourself at three of pentacles again like you've been trying to protect yourself from whatever this is like there's a big group of you guys and i feel like for some of you guys there's it's some for some of you guys this is something third party for some of you guys, this is almost like you may like, you know how when people do this thing, people do this thing, whereas they may try to take someone from like, say like if you have two people, two business partners that's working together and they separate, they may separate on good or bad terms, whatever it is, but your loyalty stays with the person that you work for, truly, truly work for. But the other person tries to recruit you or try to take you away from that person some of you guys may be faced with that. Some of you guys may be may get an opportunity to make more money or something more solid. Like there's a there's an offer here. There's an offer that's coming through for some of you guys and it looks good. So this doesn't have to be the temptation in terms of a relationship because there is temptation in terms of a relationship. I've seen that temptation all through this reading, okay? But for some of you guys what I'm also getting in this is like working for the competition or going with the competition or something like that like there's an energy here of like a be somebody almost like and it's not a betrayal it's really and truly not a betrayal but there's like an offer here that's being placed in your lap and the offer is tempting and you're gonna have to make a decision that you're gonna be at crossroads about that you're gonna that you're going to be at crossroads about but then it also affects your stability because you're trying to live a better life. You know, I feel like for a lot of you guys with this temptation that's coming through, it does affect your stability because a part of it is something that you want. There's a, there, that's why it's so tempting. That's why it's a temptation. It's a part of it that you want. A part of it that you need for some of you guys. Why? Because you want to live a better life. But again, it's like the struggle is so real because you're like, hold on. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Am I doing the right thing? The magician. So you have the skills and you look at the strength. Look at that. 
that's the communication for some of you guys you have communication coming through and also with strength here this talks about like overcoming obstacles staying strong in the in the sight of adversity or staying strong in making the decisions because you manifested this whatever this is that's coming through you actually as i see 44 44 in the clock you manifested this and you had to overcome a lot of shit to get to this You've manifested this and you had to overcome a lot to get to this. Strong Gemini, Leo energy. I have Capricorn. And I also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Yeah. How are we closing out this week? How is my Virgo closing out this work week? Ooh, Nine of Pentacles like that like that look new new beginning you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith towards your into towards your independence and your money and also for a lot of you guys you're changing like i'm telling you that's that reflection you see that this is this is this is it you're prioritizing your reflection like what you see what you see it ain't about what tanya see it ain't about what nobody else see about yourself this is you prioritizing that. You see that this is like, you're taking this, you're taking this and you're prioritizing yourself. I love that. I love that. I don't know what that means for you making decisions. I don't know what that means for your week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means for the, <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm telling you the struggle is going to be real for some of you guys. <laughs> All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, I love every last one of you guys. Bye.